Probably not doing well. Yeah, I need to discharge the battery. I need to take the batteries off. Just keep a one on. It's 13. 11.3, 39%. here. I don't get it. Yeah, that's what I need to do. I need to take some batteries off and just keep a one. Three of them is just too much. 300 amps and the what is dynamo is a 16 amps. Not not enough. First thing first, we need to check RPMs. This is our RPM meter. Let's see what we're gonna show. Well, it doesn't show something right because we don't have this much speed. Let me check it again. It's showing 300, 3000 machine. Something is not right. I think uh, our little sensor, I need to redo it. First, what I need to do, I need to take it out of the gear. Actually, yeah, take it out of the gear so this can stop. I think we are in a different gear now. Third, I guess. Okay, so now we off the gear. You can see how fast it's been. We have a little, a little ticking here, which you need to fix. So now I'm going to put the new little tape sensor here. I'm going to take this one off. This little thing, it's a bit reflective tape. I'm gonna just cut a little piece and put the sensor on. Looks like the shaft is hitting right down there. Let me fix that one. Stable, that will do, I guess. We'll see. Now, let's put it back in the gear. Yeah, so we fell. Whatever, I'll let it get. Now, let's put it back in the fourth gear.
said 28, 3800, there's no way. 1300 maybe. Let's test it again. I don't think so. this thing is showing the correct because there's no way this thing is spinning now 4300 let's check in the memory memory one this is no way 1500 maybe so that's, that's it you said 3800, 3400, 3800 I doubt it's actually coming this fast but let's go upstairs to see if there's any change on the electricity intake. This is different. Maybe it's different. I don't know what you mean. Uh, electricity electric, electric is different. 11.9 now. 59%. 240 volts on all three phases. 230. Uh, I don't know what they did. But uh, it's bad. It's uh, not bad at all. It's actually really good. It's really good. Better than what we had in the last day. 60% battery. They're showing uh, 12 volts here, 11.9 here. I uh, really don't know what they did. I just moved a little bit things around. I'm going to leave it like this so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, hopefully it will work. I'm going to keep the generator open. Just to need to go back down anyways to check how is everything working. And uh, before dark, I'm going to shut it down. I mean, close it over, cover it over, and we'll figure out what is next. Maybe I need to remove a few batteries because all three of them is just too much for the 16 amp alternator. But anyways, we used to get 12.7 volts inside the house, and now we are, we were, we were dragging 11.4, which is not good. We need to be over 12 consistently. The perfect is 14, but this dynamo can't really bring it so small. I mean, size-wise is big, but it's so small. Amp-wise, need to be more amps. Until spring, this is what we got. We're not getting any better. Yeah, electricity is falling again. It's 11, 4, 11, 5, 11, 3, and it wasn't a 12. I don't know why, but uh, I think I really need to go and unhook those batteries. Just keep it one up. Dynamo just can't push 300 amps. What happening right now? This uh, Dynamo it just can't push all three of these batteries. Each one are 110. Uh, 100 amp hours and uh, this thing is just suffering it's trying so hard to raise the voltage to 11.9 12 12.1 then drop on 11.3 so what I need to do I need a discharge from these three batteries and it discharge two of them let the one charge all the way how long they need to take probably overnight to 12 13 volts 13 plus volts, maybe 14 if, it's, if we have a luck. Then after that we're going to add another one and then after that we're going to add the third one. So we'll keep uh, our voltage together because we totally cannot run in 11 point some volts. We're just going to damage these batteries. So we're going to remove this one and this one first under this uh, inverter. We're going to keep uh, this one on and we'll see what happens. I believe uh, we're going to see instant change inside the house on the voltage after I do that.
doing better already. Yeah, yeah we are back on uh, 118, 118, 117, 18. Now we have one battery. Let's see. How's that gonna do? 54%. Well, electricity is in a 13.1, that's good, 13.2, 100%. I'm going to hook up another battery now. Well, the battery is doing well, so to now, today, I'm going to hook up the second battery together so we can raise them up. Now let's go see what is the uh, voltage when I hooked up the other one. We're supposedly having a dropping in a voltage and a probably 12.4, 12.5 because this battery is supposed to hold that much. But, but this thing here is supposed to uh, keep up and charge this second battery now. We'll come back and we're going to turn this on. A lot of walking up and down just to see numbers. 12.6, 87. That's good. Now we're gonna turn this on here. Now we're having our twist back in the house. I'm gonna keep this open because I might check later again. And uh, let's see upstairs again. 12.5. We're gonna let this sit for another 24 hours. We got 13 volts, 100% on two batteries now. I'm going to uh, connect the third battery today. When we saw inside, we are already having on a, these two batteries, 13 volts each, 100%. So this one, obviously, you cannot push all three of them in the same time. But when the batteries are loaded, when the batteries are full, it's going to be easy to uh, get the third one up to the 13% and 100%. I want to show you how cold it is outside. Look at this ice freezing out there. Beautiful the cold. I'm going to uh, connect this old inner inverter because they're going to show me how many volts of the batteries we're going to have before I have to go up in a house and check it over there. Which I might just go just to make sure this is uh, actually showing exact voltage. Showing 13.1 volts. Let's see inside the house. Twelve point six eighty-four percent. So by the tomorrow we should have all back on a thirteen percent. Thirteen volts, hundred percent. We are back in a business. Thirteen point one volts here, hundred percent, thirteen point volts too here. Let's go crank everything up. Struggle is over, if you can call a struggle. Now we have uh, all three batteries full of the 13.1 volts, 
this system now going to be uh, running it of course we're not going to use some heavy two kilowatts of a twist in the house even if you want it you really can't because our system is 1.5 kilowatts which we don't need more than that our water heater is in a propane our stove is in a propane our heat is in a propane so uh everything look fine everything look working in a good condition everything is running how it's supposed to i really would like to see uh how much this one show i don't know can you see it 13.4 13.3 volts which is really really good 13.1 13.3 that's normal so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna plug i'm gonna turn off turn on i'm sorry the system was going inside the house and uh, the whole thing is supposed to fall, fell down 12.7, 12.8. Right now we're showing 13, again 13.3, which is obviously very good. Call it struggle or not, we don't call it struggle, we call it very good experience. Every once in a while we have to work on it, we have to maintenance. Mm -hmm. But uh, free electricity is free electricity. Can't, can't complain of free electricity, really. So, uh, hopefully this spring, this big wheel is going to be changed for a bigger wheel. Much lighter, bigger, with more propellers. Um, possible the shaft will be changed too. Maybe not, we'll see. But this part here, the dynamo will be switch to alternator I believe I said it quite a few times this dynamo is only 16 amps so that's why it's the trouble to go to load all three batteries from uh, when they drop down under the certain voltage with the alternator 120 amps this is 16 amps 120 amps we're gonna be rock and rolling so let's go back inside the house to see what this electricity showing there now let's turn some lights on and some stuff 12.9, 96%, not bad. everything is working as you can see inside the house showing uh, 12.9 13 volts which is normal to lose some energy going from here to this cable all the way up all the way under and go inside the house not bad at all actually so uh that was our call it struggle no struggle until next time i'm checking out